Compared to even a short time ago, airsoft tracers have certainly come a long way. From AAA batteries barely lighting up your BBs to extremely compact, lipo-powered smart tracers, it's better now than it's ever been to try out some glow-in-the-dark BB fun. Latest from G&G &G is the MF106T Tracer Unit, equipped with the latest evolution in tracers, a simulated muzzle flash effect using a bank of orange LEDs at the front. It's not the first on the market to have a muzzle flash effect, but it's got a few features worth considering. While there's no denying that muzzle flash and tracers in general are more style over substance, seeing that bright orange flash reflecting off walls is just fun. And if you play it against other players using them, there is a new added level of immersion to see that muzzle flash firing at you. If you need the stealth, a single turn can disable the unit entirely and add about just 10 bucks more than a standard tracer. If you're already in the market for a tracer, it might be worth your consideration. Opening up the box, you're greeted with the tracer unit and that's about it. Spartan is a good way to describe the package. The first thing we noticed is just how light this one is. Coming in at a scant 38 grams ready to go, it's about half the weight of other compact tracers, with the rival Ace Tech Blaster coming in at 72 grams. It does use less metal in the construction, however, with plastic end caps on each side of a metal sleeve versus the full metal body of the blaster unit. While both are certainly lightweight, that weight reduction on the far end of a barrel can be noticeable, and it's particularly important if mounted on a pistol, where a heavier tracer can impede the cycling of the gun. It's also a decent amount smaller than the blaster, coming in at 57mm long versus 76, and 27mm wide versus 32. We figured the G&G &G might have a smaller battery as a result, but it's actually rated at 360mAh over the 210mAh of the Acetech. While G&G &G doesn't post estimated round count, the Ace Tech is rated at 22,000 shots on one charge, so it's safe to assume the G&G &G will easily last that and a bit more. One complaint about the newer muzzle flash tracers is getting the front LED shot out, but we like that the G&G &G spacing is a little bit smaller than a BB and hopefully will prevent that. There's a QR code on the box that takes you to an online manual. Relatively straightforward, I'd still download a copy onto your phone just in case. We like that the USB port is always open and you don't have to disassemble anything to charge, and there's even enough spacing that you can even charge it while it's sitting on the gun. Perhaps more importantly, you also don't have to disassemble anything to access the controls. To power it on, simply rotate the front bezel. We like how notchy and positive the click is compared to even their older non-muzzle flash UVT tracer. The first mode is both muzzle flash and tracer indicated with a blue and red light. Turning the unit off and on again within 5 seconds changes to tracer only mode with a blue light and then finally muzzle flash only mode with a red light. It's very nice to be able to swap modes and even disable the unit entirely in a few seconds. The one glaring downside to that open port and switch means it's not as water resistant as the Ace Tech, which boasts an IP65 water rating, so if you're going to be playing outdoors and maybe in rain, it's something to consider. If you don't use the tracer for a few minutes, it'll go into a low power standby mode. Simply shooting or shaking the unit will turn it back on. Though it does have a low power LiPo cutoff, just like any other LiPo, if you're going to be storing it for a while, make sure the battery doesn't go completely dead. Through our testing, the Tracer ran into zero issues and had no trouble keeping up with faster rate of fire guns. It's not the brightest unit compared to some larger ones out there, but of the compacts, it definitely holds its own. With all the features at a size and weight that's actually lighter than some metal flash hiders on the market, it's a very compelling option for those who want to try out the latest generation of tracers. Let us know in the comments what you think of the new muzzle flash tracer trend. Cheap gimmick or fun new innovation? As always, thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one.